Hi everyone, welcome to Kyoto. If you have watched my Tokyo vlog, you know that we just got off of the Shinkansen and we're staying right in the heart of everything. Things in Kyoto also kind of close quite early, so I think we're all just gonna meet up and go out on the town. We need to pick up our bags. Our bags got transferred, um, so we have to kind of stick around this area, but this is the area we were gonna eat in anyway, so. Um, okay, I will catch you guys later, but welcome to Kyoto. Um, and then we're here for one full day tomorrow, half day the next day, and then we're heading to Osaka, and then we're heading home. Um, so we're gonna try and do as much as we possibly can. And we're all so tired from Tokyo, so it will be a real, mm, it'll be an adventure. So anyway, um, welcome, let's go. suitcases now and we're all sweaty because of Purikura and I want ice cream so that's our last goal for today and then we're gonna um, hopefully wake up really early and go to Fushimi Inari so we're gonna have an early night I don't know so people want this early night <sighs> everyone I am the only person in Kyoto today except for whoever's unloading that truck we are uh, awake at sunrise to go see Fushimi Inari that we're gonna just go 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 today and we're gonna be so sleepy so if we don't say anything that's why but I'm having a great time and I'll see you Fingertips sending shivers down your spine. It's enough to make you lose your sense, enough to make you lose your mind. There's magic in the way you move. Always steady, ever wild And know this heartbreak he holds close And feel it in the way he says They weren't with us <laughs> Maybe there's a way to fake I can style my hands and shake it Every time I feel like a fool But all I know is I'll be awake for an hour or two But for now, oh for now 
It's the wakening in my chest It's the changing of the moon It's the way I know one day when I'm old I might not have I might not have you Oh, maybe there's a God above If he can see just I keep forgetting to talk to the camera Hi, checking in from Ryoanji Temple um, we were told it was just like a rock garden, but it's actually like incredibly green and it's it's gorgeous. So um, yeah, we're just kind of powering through. It's a lot, but the weather is so beautiful. Everything is so green. Um, could have asked for a better day. Okay, hi everyone, checking in. Definitely crowded, but really nice. Um, you can find pockets where you're completely alone. As you can see, is there a bug crawling on me? No, okay. So yeah, it's definitely been like a, a tough day. Um, a lot of us are tired because we woke up for Fushiminari, but um, it's beautiful, so it's it's hard to complain. And yeah, the group, like I feel, I hope I already said this, but like the group is so nice. Everyone is so funny and everyone's personalities really mesh well and like bring out the best in everybody. I don't know, it's just like, it's really good vibes. So I'm just having a really good time. I was so nervous about this trip. Just like, I wanted to make sure everybody enjoyed it um, and yeah, everyone is just so positive and so lovely and helpful and yeah, just absolutely great. So I'm having a wonderful time. Um, couldn't have asked for better weather. What is this? Um, and it's gonna rain the day that we leave. So it's just, we got so, so lucky. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys whenever I check in again, we have so much to do. Um, and I'm already hungry, so I'm gonna track down some snacks here before lunch, um, but just... <laughs> So I know the next places we're gonna go are gonna be really crowded, but literally I am like, there's a family of three. And other than that, like, it's so quiet and so peaceful. Um, so I don't know what's going on with Golden Week, but I'm so pleasantly surprised. Tune in in a couple minutes when we're at Kiyomizudera. I will change my tune, but for now.
not taking part in that. at all um it's our last day at all actually it's our last day so um we woke up really early to hit arashiyama just a couple of us the crazy ones who for some reason can still walk barely um there is a frenchy so yeah we're just enjoying oh my god wait <laughs> Sorry, children being pulled around by dogs. Anyway, yeah, um, so we need to go back to the hotel quickly so that we can get to Osaka. We're gonna pretty much just like have dinner there and then the next day everyone's leaving. So it's just been really beautiful. Um, and I haven't been talking because I've just been so thankful and like just having so much fun. So hopefully there's a little bit of coffee in our future and then a lot of eating in Osaka. Traveling, traveling coffee was a place that I stopped with my mom like five, six years ago when we came here. And it was in this really gorgeous building. That building, these crows are so loud. Um, but they got pushed out by Blue Bottle and now they have a little stand. It's still cute. It's still wholesome. The guy is still super nice. Um, but I'm glad I could come back and grab one. But now I'm gonna go read by the river. Um, everyone's kind of doing their last minute things like picking up souvenirs um, and I just want to chill that's what most of us are doing but we're like chilling separately and having a good time yeah wasn't it a cool building oh well glad they're still around though and making great coffee so I'll see you I have a book to read she goes her own way 
Like I don't give a damn, girl. And my God, she owns it. So many heartbreaks goes back to 2014, and I think that she knows it. And if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it, 'cause I, I know that you'd want her to. Taking their shot, but missing out on the cut. I think she knows that she drives them crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving makes them want it so bad. It's the intention that we wish that we had. It's so cool, cause I want it. She's looking like that. The way she's moving makes her want it so bad. It's the attention that we wish that we had. It's it's cool, 'cause I'm I have no further footage of this night because eating that ice cream was the most traumatic experience I've ever had and it will be burned into my memory forever. So definitely get your hands on one of these and find out why yourself. completely commit to sitting in the sun. The shade is, hmm, okay, this is better. Hi, welcome back to Korea. It's been a while. It's been about a week um, since I've been back and I just kind of haven't had a chance to sit down and really talk. This was just, I like, I knew it was gonna be really nice, but I had, I, I had so many worries about this trip and it was so, wonderful. I mean, obviously it wasn't perfect. I feel like anytime you travel, you're going to have bumps in the road. So we definitely did, but it was like, everyone was so positive and kind. And I've, I've already said this all, but like, it was just really, oh, it just like leaves me speechless. We couldn't, I couldn't even say goodbye to people because I was crying, but it was just like, when I got home and I was talking about it, Kurt was like, I feel like I sent you off to summer camp. I, apparently I had this the feeling of like a child who just got back from summer camp and had like made a whole new group of best friends, you know? It, w it really did feel like that. And I think I kind of told um, a lot of the people on the trip this, but like other than back in college, I can't remember the last time I really took a long vacation with a big group of people who I love hanging out with and just like laughing for an entire week. It was so, ugh, it, I know that I'm not old, but it like made me feel young again because it was just so reminiscent of like me in high school going on my weird 
church retreats or like horse camp it was that like youthful energy i feel recharged um it was just really great so um to everybody who went thank you guys so much you were such troopers there were definitely challenges but i think that because everyone was so just easy going um and understanding we were able to problem solve and um yeah i just i had a really great time like i had so many things i wanted to do like i had a huge list of cafes and a few more temples and things like that that i i wish we could have done but because we were such a big group and we were just all talking and also like making decisions in terms of where we were going we moved a lot slower so we might not have done the same amount that i would have done if i was solo traveling but i had so much more fun and just like sitting down and having conversations in a cafe um i didn't care that we were in japan weirdly like i i just i love japan so much but i had so much more fun just like sitting and chatting even over our like buffet breakfasts in the hotel like that was a wonderful time so yeah it was just um a totally new experience for me i'm not a person who goes on like group trips um very new experience but a really wonderful one and so thank you guys for being my guinea pigs i'm not sure if and when i will do another trip i'm doing iceland in august which i cannot explain to you how excited i am i don't have anything planned after that and i'm just not sure what the future holds but i do know that if i could ever just like with my meetups organize something that just gets us all together we're a fun group i have to say um and everyone was so different and had um different reasons for wanting to come on the trip but somehow we just all meshed really well um it's so so touching um and i i just feel like i gained like 22 new great friends great people in my life um so yeah it was just really wonderful and yeah i hope that you enjoyed the footage i definitely fun funny enough i felt like i filmed so much more in kyoto and osaka than i did in tokyo but i ended up having less footage to use because so much of it was just me like laughing at us doing purikura or laughing at the ice cream i just had a great time and so much of it like is stuff that just wouldn't translate it's horrible footage but great memories up in here so um if you got through these videos i hope that um they touched you in some way um but just know that behind the camera i was having a such a wonderful time so yes thank you so much to everyone be all up in my dms and our whatsapp group and yeah it just i wasn't lacking it but i think it just kind of refreshed revamped my faith in humanity like people are just so great i ugh, i just love people so anyway um i'm gonna leave you here and i will see you guys next week for some korea content again um it is summer it is may 12th it feels like summer my parents are here um, but they had an early night tonight just to kind of acclimate. They just got in. Um, but it's hot out and it's only going to get hotter. So um, into summer we go. Thank you for always being here with me. Yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you always. Thank you to everyone who came on the trip. Thank you to everyone who was interested in the trip. So excited for the people who are coming to Iceland. Just overall, I'm doing real great. Um, and I hope you are too. So... Love you always, and um, see you next time.